Accept value from user means what? Means you will let the user enter a value. Instead of hard coding a value, you will then take the value that the user enters and you will bring it into your program. So we'll have integer age equals to zero. Our program will be accept user's age, okay? So system.out.print ln, enter your age. Now to accept an input from user, we need a scanner object. So scanner, And for scanner object, you need to import the java.util package. So if you have simply written down line six, it will give you red lines. You can hover over the scanner and you can then click on import. This is the very first link. That's one way you can do that. The other way is to go under source menu and simply click on organize imports. So those are the two possible ways that you could do it. The third one is that you can use a keyboard shortcut of control shift O. Now with that in place, now I will be accepting an input from user. So age, oops, equals to input dot next int. So that's how I will take an input from the user and we'll put it into the variable. You are, oops, so many years old. So notice this time I'm using a, var a variable in the middle of two strings. So I used a concatenation on both sides, okay? Now, when I'm running this program, I will notice that the insertion point, I, I can just click in the console and then I can type and notice it types on the next line, not on the same line. Because on line number nine, I said print LN. Print LN means that accept the input on the new line, not on the same line. So that's why accepting it on the new line. And as soon as I hit enter, it says you are 22 years old. If I want the input to appear on the same line, I need to drop the LN from enter your age and then run it again. And now it appears on the same line. And that's the difference between the two. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to be able to accept multiple variables in the same example. So, so far I've only accepted age. Now, let me declare a variable and put name. And then let me say, okay, I'll just do system.out.print enter, enter your name. Name equals to input dot next line. And instead of you are, we'll display whatever name is this year's old. Okay, did this work? Does this work? No, no, it will not work. You're right, Jacob. So when I run this example, I enter an age and then I hit enter and it skips. Does anybody know why it do, does it? After you are done entering the age of the person, what do you do? You press enter, right? Enter is a valid string slash n, that's what enter is, slash n. It's a valid string. So slash n becomes the input for age, so for name, and that's what gets fed to line 13. Therefore, line number 15 just runs without a name. 
okay? Now, to fix this problem, what you will do is, right before you accept any string, you need to have a blank uh, or enter key absorber, which we will do like this, absorb, enter key. So what we're doing is we're writing in input.next line, which is simply absorbing the enter key and not giving it to any variable. That way the enter key will be absorbed and now you will be good for another out input. So now let's try this. 